Welcome to the final video for The Artist as Naturalist. My name is Kara Michelle, and I spent the last past year sketching the wild spaces that remain in my neighborhood. The Artist as Naturalist represents my personal visual study of some of the remaining untamed landscapes along Long Island's southwestern coastal zones. With a sketchbook in hand, I ventured along the sandy coastlines adorned with seashells and delicate dunes. I sat amongst the marshlands observing their intricate dance with the ebb and flow of the migrating birds and changing tides. I charted the seasons of winter, waking into spring, and then settling into the long sun-soaked days of summer. I seized this opportunity to familiarize myself with the names of the local bird species and plants. I challenged myself to first develop a deep understanding of the landscape and then endeavor to convey the emotional depth of the observational experience. This journey births a profound love for this unique environment in which I have now become deeply rooted and a strong desire to contribute to its preservation. I plan to continue on with this journey and I hope that others will join me. As for my process, I made it a practice to travel out into these spaces with my sketchbook and art supplies and work plein air style from an observer's point of view. During this time frame, I completed four sketchbooks, which work now as reference books to relay these stories that I've captured in visual form onto canvas. Engaging with these same landscapes throughout all of the seasons has really helped me to know and understand these environments and the creatures and the plants that live within them, and along with my relationship to the environment as well. These are the sketchbooks from this past year. Some of them are handmade, some of them are purchased at the art supplies store. Each one of them filled with an entire year's worth of focus and observation and engagement with my immediate surroundings. If you're interested in taking a tour inside each one of them, I have videos posted for each book, which I go through page by page. What I enjoy the most about this is watching the evolution of my personal style, of how I'm translating what I see and putting it onto paper. These books now serve as reference books that I'll be able to use for years to come for future artworks. takeaway from this project that I did not expect was the challenges of nature inequality, actual access to these wild spaces. As urbanization encroaches on all of these environments, there is not only a loss of these natural spaces, but also of the access and collective connection to this land. When you have access to the natural world around you and you are able to engage with that environment throughout the seasons and witness the changes, even if it's passively with a sketchbook in hand, what that ultimately does is creates better stewards, people who care about the place that they live and care about preserving the delicate ecosystem that's striving to survive. 
am I suggesting that everyone should get out there with a sketchbook and start drawing what they see around them? Well, yes, I am. Or take a notebook and start writing down whatever comes to mind when you're out there. See what it has to say to you. See what comes up. See what you can learn. Pick up a nature guide from the library. Learn the names of things. Learn the names of places. The goal for the end of this project was to take a selection of landscapes from my sketchbooks and translate them onto canvas for a final art exhibition to present to the local community. I now had to begin to train my mindset to begin working on canvases. I also decided to create a takeaway zine to give to people who came to the exhibit that basically encouraged viewers to create their travel kit and grab a sketchbook and try to get out there around them. Inside I included one of my hand-drawn maps of the area and I highlighted certain areas that I enjoyed going to sketch the most, places that were um, that offered easy access to and from throughout all of the seasons. And so it began. A fury of painting many, many landscapes. Seeing all of the paintings together in the gallery was really special for me. I had such butterflies in my belly. The vulnerability of sharing your artwork with public. Whew. Lots of deep breaths and the help of family. Today, I'm here with Oliver and we're here at Creative Art Space for Kids for the exhibit of Artist as a Naturalist. The artist happens to be my dear mother. Awesome. Karen right. Michelle. Karen but Michelle, I can't call okay. her that. She's my mom, so, you know. But. <laughs> Thank you.
I did it. A year of exploring these wild spaces around my home. And if I can do it just outside of New York City, I am confident you can as well. I would like to conclude this project by expressing gratitude and acknowledgement of Long Island's original name, Palmanac, the ancestral and unceded territory of the Lakawe, Rockaway, and Munsee Lenape people. <laughs>